Okay, so in today's math lesson, uh, what we did, or what the kids did, is they solved word problems. The word problems are pretty complex. They have lots of uh, opportunities for diagrams and uh, addition and subtraction and multiplication. It's all mixed in. Uh, pretty cool. So I like the first problem. This is the problem we're going to work on now. We have Jenny. We have Jenny's mom. She tells Jenny she has an hour before it's bedtime. One hour. That's an important piece of information. I'll circle that. Jenny spends three-fifths of the hour texting. All right, that figures. There you go. She's texting a friend. Now she's, she's spending three-eighths of the remaining time. That's important. Three-eighths of the remaining time. Let's circle that there. That's key. Brushing her teeth and putting on her pajamas. And then she spends the rest of the time reading her book. And they want to know how long did Jenny read. Okay, so let's start from the beginning here. She has one hour of time. So now I'm going to create a tape diagram here. I'm going to make the one hour my block, my total. And I'm going to convert that right away to 60 minutes because we're going to be splitting everything up into minutes uh, because the fractions, I'm, I need fractions of an hour. So I might as well go with minutes. So let's deal with Jenny with her texting. She spends three-fifths of the hour texting a friend that's most of the uh, most of the hour there, more than half. That's a lot of texting. Uh, but let's find out exactly how many minutes the, we're talking about here. So three-fifths. I'm going to split this into fifths. One, two, three, four, five. I'm looking for three of them, three of those fifths right there, and the value of that. But now that I have five boxes, I have a total of 60. I want three-fifths of that 60. Okay, or I can find one fifth of the 60 by taking the 60, dividing it by 5, and that'll give me just one of these guys, and then I can just add two more. A couple of ways I can do this. I kind of like going this route here, taking my three fifths of 60 right away, because I can just turn this into one algorithm all set up to go. I can divide. And reduce uh, with the 60 and the 5. 5 goes into 5 once, goes into the 60 12 times. Make it 36 over 1, which equals 36. Okay, so that represents these three fifths. Um, now, on the bottom here, if I was to solve it this way, uh, this would go in 12 times, just like that. So I have 12, which would represent each box. So I have a 12, a 12, and a 12. Once again, giving me my 36. Okay, so she spends 36. I'm going to put this in parentheses here. Uh, 36 of the hour texting. So here's texting. Okay, so 36 minutes texting. All right, so part one is done. Now, uh, the remaining time, the remaining time, she spends three-eighths of that time brushing her teeth and putting on her pajamas. That's this here. This is the remaining time. Okay, well, if the whole thing is 60, I need to find out this guy right here. So I need two, two of the fifths, which is two of the 12s, which is 24, because if this is 12 and this is 12, that means the remaining time is 24 minutes. Okay, so she spends 24 uh, minutes not texting. Three fifths of this. I'm sorry, three-eighths of this is, um, is brushing her teeth and putting on her pajamas. So I'm going to create another tape of the remaining time. The remaining time is 24 minutes. Okay, I found that once again by looking at what's left. And this is two-fifths that's left. Two of them, 12 each. There's 24 minutes. Now she spends, once again, three-eighths of that brushing her teeth. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-eighths. I have eighths, three of them, one, two, three, brushing her teeth, putting on her pajamas. So I need the value of these guys right here. So I can do three eighths of 24, which equals 24 times three over eight. Once again, I can reduce. I can divide both of these by eight. And I get three up here and a one down here. Three times three gives me nine over one, which gives me nine which means she spends nine minutes. And what is she doing during that time? She's brushing teeth. Brush teeth. 
and she's dealing with her pajamas as well. Okay. All right, so we have nine minutes, and we have 36 minutes. Nine minutes for texting. We have, I'm sorry, 36 minutes for texting, nine minutes for brushing teeth. She spends the rest of the time reading her book. Well, the rest of what time? Well, she had an hour to begin with. So that's the 60 minutes. So one more tape. I'm going to put it right over this problem. Here's my 60 minutes. She spends 36 doing the texting. She spends 9 brushing her teeth. And the big question is this guy here. So if we have a three parts, if we have three parts and I know two, I need to add what I know and subtract from my total. So this gives me a 5 down here. 3 plus the 1 gives me a 4. So she spent 45 minutes total doing her uh, texting and her teeth and her pajamas. What's left? I'll take my 60. I subtract my 45. And she's left with 15 minutes. 15 minutes for her book. So Jenny spends 15 minutes reading her book. And if I want to do a quick check on underneath here, just to make sure everything adds to 60, she has her 36 minutes for texting, her 9 minutes for her brushing her teeth, and her 15 minutes for reading. And if I add all of these up, I get a 0 here, and I get a 2 here, and a 2, 5, 60 minutes total, and that checks out pretty well. Okay? So uh, that's what we were doing today, spending a lot of time on a few, few amount of problems, but they're involved. They might involve three different tape diagrams. Take your time, read carefully, because the wording is very important in how you go about solving these problems. Okay? That's it for now. Thanks so much. Thanks so much, gang. Take care. Bye-bye.